You just saw it, Commanders. You get gunnery support on the scale worthy of your robots. Time to zoom out and see hangars for what they really are. Giant vaults within formidable spaceships. These spaceships transport your robots from Mars to Earth and back, and with corporate conflicts simmering on both planets. These vessels travel heavily armed. You can now call upon their support in battle. Wait for the cannons to calibrate. Wait a bit more. Now, press that button. Unleash an ionic hell on your target. Pew, 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 pew. Your enemies will surely notice that the ship aims for them. If they choose to stand their ground, everyone within the damage radius takes the hit. Remember, the better you perform in battle, the more often you can use orbital support. You can request it as many times as you want. You don't have to be aggressive. Ships like Mantis specialize in defense. They'll cover you and your allies with energy shields, if the team plays cohesively, of course. Read our update notes to learn more and watch the sky. If you don't feel like running from danger, it might be a good idea to start adding some brawler types to your hangar. Take this walking fortress. Revenant. Thanks to its strong hull, Revenant is always ready to take the brunt of the enemy attack, orbital gunnery included. Its shielded sides allow it to ignore much of the enemy fire as long as it locks horns with its opponent in melee. And melee is what Revenant excels at. You just need to get within range and then whoosh, teleport to the target to dictate the play. Oh, and Sound Blasters. They don't work that well against Revenant. Watch our video to see Phantom's big brother in action. Right, the sponsors of this event. Recklessly brave and unmistakably stylish. Yaga Gang. These mercs are your best bet for potion and offensive. You can easily tell them by their style. Say no to the dreary green and brown. You won't hide the robot on battlefield anyway, so choose bright colors. And if you get destroyed, it will at least look cool. That is what Sviatogor Belov tells his fellows in arms. And he knows what he's doing. Under his command, a flying Fafnir will ignore all energy shields. Naturally, Sviatogor prefers leading the attack, just as Vasilisa Maximova. With her at the helm, Revenant restores a portion of its durability after committing to attack. The more damage is dealt, the more durability is restored. This pilot rarely waits for support. Finally, there is something in this update that will help you deal with physical shields. Close-range acid throwers, Bane and Toxin. These cannons melt armor with aggressive chemicals and leave a lasting effect on the target that deals damage over time. Hopefully, they won't ruin your paint jobs. And by the way, we are starting to introduce HD graphics to powerful devices. We'll tell you more on our social media soon. It looks like we're good to go. Check full update notes on our website. We've put a lot of additional info there. The link is down below. Wait, 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 wait. Remember, if a ship aims for you, do not stand still. Move, evade, scary. Hmm, he's got the point. Be on the move, survive, and heavy hunting, commanders. Tell us in the comments how you feel about this update. If you are up for more War Robots content, we got some. In this video, devs retell exciting backstories of legendary pilots. And here, they explain the inner workings of your robots. Join the War Robots subreddit for quality War Robots discussions, if you haven't already, and see you soon. See you on the battlefield, commanders.